hello. <clears throat> um, right now I'm alone. I'm, uh, tired. Uh, yeah, bracket works. Um, bracket works now. Um, what else works? What did I do? Did the Discord command works? And if you want to see my playlist, the playlist command works. Um, I'm not wearing, uh, I'm wearing, like, gym shorts. I don't, there's no fly on it. It's just regular gym shorts. So, you're wrong. Um. Wow, I'm really tired. <laughs> uh, so let's get started. Um, if you haven't checked in and you're in stream and just, I think there's only, like, a few people. Um, AVI and Norm. And then there's two people I've never heard of. So, double check if you've checked in. Um, so you don't get DQ'd immediately. Um, I'll give you like three minutes. Because yeah, some people just forget to check in and they're just sitting in stream wondering why they're DQ'd. And, uh, they just never checked in. So, it happens, like, all the time. Very smart. And, like, again, like, three or so minutes, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna cut it off and... And then process the check-ins. And then the final bracket will be done. You'll lose like three or four people or something like that. I don't know. I'm just exhausted. I just didn't sleep last night. And then like I woke up late. Oh my god. Horrible. We'll go blade, watch garbage YouTube videos, and then, like, now I'm here, you know? Not a very eventful day. But, whatever. Uh, I like who we got. I like who's in the... Th I like who's in the tournament. We got good people. Some, uh... Some solid heads. I like it. I like it. So this should be pretty good. Uh, what? Yeah, a four, a four kids marathon? Of what? Which four kids show? Everyone. That's a lot of shows. I, don't even, I can't even finish the shows that I want to watch. Let alone the shows that I don't want to watch. I don't even know what that is. What about like the four kids like Yu-Gi-Oh where they're holding like water guns? Oh no, that's that's One Piece. One Piece they're holding water guns. Yu-Gi-Oh they're just pointing at you. Dude, the entire Gundam franchise is too big. I can't do that. Especially the bad shows. There's so many bad <laughs> There's a bunch of bad shows that nobody wants to watch. Okay, so it's 310. I'm going to refresh real quick. And if you're not checked in now, that's it. You're screwed. 
Okay. There. I have process check-ins. We lost four people. I think. About four people. Um, I'll watch two games. I'll watch two games from this first... From this first group. Check... Uh, exclamation point bracket. You know, if you want to double check your... your the bracket, that is. Um... We'll do, we'll watch, uh, we'll watch something here in Argent Soul, and then we'll watch, uh, HFTF Sex Nuts and, uh, Replicant JB. Those will be the two games we watch, and then we'll move on to round two. So, let me see if I'm actually in Fightcade, which I am. Let me get all that stuff ready before you guys start. If you've encountered someone that for some reason is in uh, Canada, USA, or Mexico, just DQ them yourself. Let me know and then DQ them. So we'll start. Um, what did I say? We'll start with Argent Soul. Argent Soul and something here. You guys can get into your game. We'll start round one now, I guess. Yeah, if they ain't an A, just kill them yourself. But let me know so I can just double check and make sure. No. <laughs> that ain't happening. They're starting. Oh, that's so... Why is that so loud? Oh my god. Okay, that's better. Better for me, at least. Okay, this matchup stinks, but, um... I don't know. Devo, like... <laughs> Devo's hella good. <laughs> People, like... Oh, I gotta fix that real quick. People, like, want to move Devo down the tier list. And for some reason, like, the dude, like, <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Look at that tandem. People want to move Devo down the tier list, and it's just, like, he does so much damage and beats so many characters. Well, yeah, it's we don't have as many uh, Devo players as like we used to. Well, there there are there are some, but between like Aleph and Cloud and and yet Zeke and um, Ricky, now you only see a few of them. Ghost Room. Uh, Ducks, I think Duxtafer plays uh, Devo a little bit as well, so he's pretty good as well. So you still see him, it's just, this is a little bit less like tournament representation. So it's like, you don't see him that much in tournament. Ooh. That tandem. I don't know how you even get that tandem. This guy just getting hit. 
characters are so hard though. Learning Devo, like starting with Devo, I don't know how. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> People that start with Devo are sickos. I don't know how you could like look at this game and start and go. I'm gonna pick Devo first. And people do it, and they usually fail. Really bad. It's really hard. It, well, if they've played, even if they've played another puppet character, it's it's the game is different. It's just like the entire game is different. And when you enter into like the JoJo space without knowing like what's going to happen, it's very jarring. And this theme sucks too. That's true. This theme, <laughs> this theme does kind of suck ass. It's not, it's, it's on the lower end of themes, and it's right next to Rubber Soul, dude. Oh, okay, good combo. This thing gets scaled to shit, though. Uh, you just, when, oh, I didn't start the tournament. Okay, I gotcha. I keep doing that. I gotcha. To DQ him, just, uh, just write, like, negative zero on, negative one on the, um, on the, uh, the score. So I know that he was DQ'd. And then I can just check his name later to see if he's, uh... If, wherever he's from. And if you lie in, then they'll just DQ you instead. Are they fucked? Did they sw I don't think they switched. Did they switch? No, they should be the same, no? If you have Amazon Prime, you have Prime Gaming, no? No. <laughs> This is a standoff. This guy, you gotta use, you gotta position Dahl more. You gotta close the gap between pulling the ref so he can't just like shooting star you and sit on one side of this screen. When you start getting those like doll loops in the corner, that's when you know you've like ascended your Devo neutral to like another level. Argent Soul, <laughs> Argent Soul, t oh my god, it's so loud. There we go. Argent Soul takes it 2 0. Uh, we'll watch, um, who's next? Uh, <laughs> HFT of Sex Nuts and Toofty TV. You are next. Uh, I didn't eat lunch because I had a late breakfast. I had an egg sandwich. A sausage and egg with a, a little bit of pepper. How do you feel about that? Well, because of my... Because of my stomach, I don't eat, um, I don't eat the same anymore. So I, I usually, like, I'll eat, like, a late lunch, and then I'll, like, skip, I mean, I'll eat, like, a late breakfast, and then skip lunch, kind of thing. How do you feel about that? Does that bother you? And then I'll eat, like, dinner. I can't help it. I have, I have a gastrointestinal problem. What's wrong with what do you mean? I can't. I sh I either eat, I need to eat like two meals or like six. Oh, 
I looked I looked away for a second, looked back, and we were messing up an ice tanda. This matchup stinks. Oh, oh, uh oh. Drops the combo. Good effort. <laughs> Good effort. Just block. Don't. Good. A lot of people fall into just getting hit by. Oh, this guy's dead. Oh, bad tandem. Definitely a gorilla tandem, for sure. Ooh. Sorry if I don't talk too much. I'm a little tired. This matchup is so difficult. You really just have to, like, <laughs> punch Ice when he makes a mistake, but Ice really doesn't make mistakes. So you really just have to like wait for the ice player to like push an extra button and then just punch him in the face. And then you can like kinda match it. He's the guy's dead. We'll see if he gets an ender. I don't think he's gonna get an ender here. Nope. There you go. Good retreat. Small amount of a uh, technical skill. I don't think anybody said NCAC's bad, at least recently. People used to say he's bad when Kakyoin was uh, a real character, but that character's OD, so we don't play him anymore. Okay. Toofty playing a very uh, basic ice, killing his opponent. Okay, and now we're immediately into ice v ice. Interesting. Oh, bad. <clears throat> okay, in overheads. Very good. I still can't even do them. How do you feel about that? Like I can't even I can't even do those fast overheads. And people still lose to me. Come on. Okay. I don't know what to say about ice, <laughs> about ice matchups. It's just like a lot of rolling, a lot of two v two c. It's really just like making your opponent push a button and then like doing that to them. Ooh. Oh! This guy's dead. <laughs> Getting those two on fours. I forget what the I, it. I forget how much time it adds per rep if you uh, do those two on fours. I don't know if anybody knows. When does Vice want to use ball? Um. Uh. Ball's good against, like, characters that leave out buttons. So, like, oddly against... And, and like, yeah, like, if, if people are mashing or leaving out buttons... So, oddly enough, it's not bad versus, like, Kakyoin. Because, like, you can catch him, like, leaving buttons out. It's not bad against Polnareff because it closes distance. While not really sacrificing too much because you're still in the air. Um... It's also good against, like, a tech chase scenario or a um, stand crash scenario. Where, like, you'll cause them to stand crash if you ball them. Okay, roll two way. Roll two way. Get in there. Oh! <laughs> Definitely just didn't do any correct combination in the corner there to, to get any damage while he was stuck in the air. Oof. Don't roll. Don't roll like that. Oh! No! Can't believe he didn't capitalize on that. I don't know how he has 7 meter. He's just not using it. Like... <laughs> like, you could 
you could be uh, you could be just throwing out those DP supers like over and over again if you had eight meter with ice. Just crush him with it, right? Uh, oh, oh! I thought that was it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen ice with this much meter. Usually the game ends. <laughs> the game ends like it doesn't. Oh, he's dead. Oh, never mind. He messes up unblockable Loki, but whatever. Oh, <laughs> gets the Oki, but doesn't dash in with for the combo. That's c if he just did two B. If he did two B six C, he won right there, but he didn't. Well, I don't do unblockable Oki anymore, really, like, because, uh, I don't know, it gets boring. It gets boring for me. Like, if somebody does it to me, I'll do it, but, like, I just don't do it that much anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, come on. <laughs> you really... Yeah, time ice ice mirror timeout whack that's whack nine meter get timed out in the ice mirror <laughs> gotta dump that meter roll roll two way roll two way switch his color so maybe he'll win now oh no combo messed up retreats unblockable Oki kill him no combo <laughs> Do it again. Nice. That little extra damage in. Oh, he he should turn the stand off. Turn it off. Cancel it. Him adding that like he messed up that. Oh, no. No. Two guys just messing up their ice tandems. Oh, uh, this this should be it if he gets the follow up. Nope. Oh, he's dead. See, you push too many buttons and you got two aid. Unfortunate. It's the the tragedies of a pocket ice. The slowest combo. Oh, oh, what's happening? <laughs> I don't. This. <laughs> this. Well, he just did the slowest tandem. <laughs> the slowest confirm into the wrong super. Yeah, Battle of Wits, of course. It's, it's uh, the epitome of ice mirrors. <laughs> He's got to get another timeout again. That's it. Really, he just has to. He doesn't have to do anything. Oh my god! He doesn't have to do much. Like, oh no! <laughs> Good try on that, on that Oki. 60. Oh. oh, no. Oh. oh, my God. Caught the jump. Now time him out again. Roll, <laughs> roll 2A. Who makes, the, who makes the mistake first of pushing an extra button? Oh my god. Well, at least we're seeing both players like blocking and not just like pushing buttons and getting hit by 2A. But this is some uh this is some vanilla ice gameplay. Oh no, why'd he roll? 
he rolled for no reason. He could have just dashed and gotten the gotten the combo. Uh oh. No. Oh, he got it. Oh, he messed up. I thought he was too late. But he got it. Just a lot of, uh... No. Shouldn't have pushed a button there, but... Gets away clean just with one two-way. Just grab him. Nope. Didn't grab him. Okay. HFT of sex, sex Nuts needs to get in there and get a tandem. He's at 8 seconds to get a tandem going, but he doesn't have time. The game's over here. <laughs> time Got timed out. Feels bad. <laughs> optimal gameplay. <laughs> Absolute optimal gameplay. We'll move on to round two because we're on round two. <laughs> oh my god. Vanilla ice timeouts are sick. Okay. Who do we have next? We'll watch three games. We'll watch uh we'll watch Tommy Tamsworth and ACR2. We'll watch uh, Halo Warrior and Shampoo Goblin, and then we'll uh, we'll watch Duxtifer because he hasn't joined yet. So we'll just watch Duxtifer. So we'll watch the bottom those bottom three matches: Tommy, ACR, Duxtifer, Replicant, and Halo Warrior and Shampoo Goblin. Tommy's and ACR first. Yeah, we need more Devo. We need more Devo gameplay. <laughs> Not enough Devos anymore. We don't... Uh, there's a few characters we, you don't really see anymore, I feel like. For whatever reason. I guess it also depends on region. They're playing. Uh, this is a matchup by... I don't think it's good for... I don't think it's very good for SDO. But, um... Oki against Midler is like free. You have like a thousand seconds to like figure out which Oki you want to do out of like the three that you have. But, um, Estio kind of just has a little bit of trouble getting in if, if Midler plays the game correctly. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, that's pretty much it. Like, you can't really jump in on Midler, which is what um, SDO kind of wants to do. And uh, I did play Midler. I still play Midler. But like there are scenarios, I think I think there are scenarios where SDO, like if SDO does it correctly, like uh, the JS will, like, punch through a car or something and just get you mad and pretty much body you. Annoying Midler. Annoying Midler stuff. But really, it's just, like... SDO just has to kind of chase Midler and hopefully he can get a combo into Oki. And then he's, like, pretty good. But catching Midler is, like, super annoying. 
between like car and car super you can um book car super if he does it full screen but that's not really like a um a reliable make what <laughs> the golden rom Yeah, chasing myth is annoying, especially if she, especially if you don't have a good anti air, which SDO does not have a great anti air. Like Rubber Soul can do it because he has two like amazing moves to anti air Midler, and like characters with good DPS like Avdol don't really have a problem. But uh, it's really annoying. Or if you can close distance with like a uh, certain disjointed buttons, like um, Jotaro uh, Dash Five Five C, uh, that moves annoying for um, for Midler. Stuff like that, very annoying. SDO just doesn't move fast enough to to catch her like that, and you kind of have to catch her sleeping with like a two A. Yeah, this it's, is a. Annoying. You gotta catch her like doing harpoon when she should have been doing cars, kind of thing. Because a lot of Midler's moves actually they have big hitboxes, and like, well, not her standoff normals. They have big hitboxes and they're slow. So if you catch them doing like harpoon or car or, you can get in there, but you gotta already kind of be in there. It's really just, SDO just has a lot of trouble getting in there, and can't really deal with up-back Midler, like, consistently. So he's, you can see it here, he's having a lot of trouble. But, like, if, if, if you can catch, if you can catch car, like, full-screen uh, harpoon or full-screen car with book... Dude, it's, it is free. Like, you can do it, and she will get hit. So it's... It, it's really just a matter of, like, knowing... Rea or, or having good reaction to uh, Harpoon or Car or... Or, um... Stand on... Or, uh, Supercars. So... Oh, messes up a combo. Oof. <laughs> he just, <laughs> just sat there. Yeah, if, if they're using car a lot. No, he did it too late. I mean, too early. He did that way too early. The, the, yellow, the yellow HUD? Yes. No, he jumped. He just blocked. That move is already out. It's like, react, like you can't react jump to that. Oof. Nice. He's dead. That matchup stinks. And people want to know why. People want to know why um, SDO isn't higher on the tier list. That's why. There you go. <laughs> That's the reason. But he is that bad. He, he's not bad, but against certain characters, he is that bad. Rubber, Midler, Chaka, he's that bad. You get bodied if 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 your opponent understands how to deal with SDO. He gets fucked up. <laughs> like uh, next, we'll watch uh, Duxtafer. We'll watch you next. So Duxtafer and uh, Replicant.
Okay, I don't know anything about this matchup. <laughs> to be honest, I know nothing about how the, how these two characters deal with this matchup. All I know is that Devo does massive damage. <laughs> like, it probably is. Not many people deal with it. Oh my god, what's going on? Um, <clears throat> The thing is, like... Devo's got bad matchups. I don't know if this is one of them, but um, he can usually navigate most matchups. I feel like even his bad ones. Kind of like how Rubber Soul can navigate some of his bad matchups, just with a lot with a lot more damage, upfront damage, I should say. Oh, he messed up. Just roll. <laughs> He's hitting him with the beds attack. Just. Oh. Puts him, the, puts him into kid mode. Messes up like three times, but... Oh. It's gonna get a little bit of damage. Uh, well, Alessi, Alessi Gun does a number on a lot of characters. It really beats up a few characters, so... It is a super annoying move. Oof. Good thing he didn't push a button, because that shit's super annoying. He's dead. Oh, good. Good jump. Oh, uh, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god, the wrong person's dead. <laughs> the wrong, I, I didn't think that interaction was going to happen that way, but it did. a lot of rolling if if um just grab more oof nice Th he's gonna get okie off of this i think yep oh messed up there you go there's the grab just grab him dude's rolling a lot grab him game one goes to the duxtifer We got a character switch to Jotaro. He's gonna try to punch him. Um, that's not Duxtifer going crazy. Duxtifer, very good. So we'll see if um, Jotaro can kind of just keep Duxtifer out, keep a uh, doll out. But he's already setting himself up in bad positions and not maximizing on getting close to Devo. So. Like, at any point there, um, like, Duxtifer could have just, like, supered, pretty much. And the shit's, like, free. When I played Duxtifer the other day, he wasn't dropping anything, so. This should be around. Yep. Evo just does a ton of damage. It only does more damage as the game goes on. Okay. Okay. Oh. Get hit. Good tandem. It's going to do about half life. Nope. Oh, messes up the fault. Messes up the, uh, the combo ender. Really? Replicant just kind of mashing 2A. And just... Kind of tagging Duxtifer with buttons, but uh, not there. It's gonna be a lot of damage. He's gonna push a button. Yeah, I, Duxtifer likes to do that, uh, where he'll end his combo and then he'll do another tandem to see if you're mashing, which is what he I think what he did there, but uh, he wasn't mashing. He just didn't block. Oh my god. Oh, it's so loud. Okay. Good games. Good games. We have uh, Halo Warrior and Shampoo Goblin. 
You guys are next. And then we'll move into round three. Make sure you guys are playing your games and losers because that stuff got to move. Should be playing in a second. Halo, Halo, back on, uh, back on hole. This is horrible. This is absolutely AIDS. You do not want to get knocked down by uh, a whole horse in this matchup. Ooh, good, nice. Ultif does a can do a decent amount of damage. He can get Oki here. Pretty much, Ulta, he's going to just keep doing it. One more. You could probably go for overhead here. There you go. Look, I even said it. Very good uh, Ulta display. Very nice. Pretty much, you have to just, like, in the matchup, you just have to not get <laughs> knocked down. And then you kind of have a chance to, like, get inside of Whole Horse. Mainly because of custom combo. And if you catch him sleeping, you can hit him with the the tentacle grab bullshit, you know? No, don't do that. Oh. Now he's pushing all the wrong... He pushed all the right buttons in game one. Now he's pushing all the wrong buttons. Oh. Let's <laughs> get kicked. Where's that picture? <laughs> the picture of the whole horse foot. Nice, good combo. Nice. Go for it again. See? Nice. Good good recognizing that you didn't have to that you weren't gonna get it. But you didn't really get anything off of the custom combo either. He's gonna need some Oki to get to get a kill here. I think he knows about the... There we go. He timed it correctly. Very good by... By Shampoo there. To get a... Oh! Whoops. To get those Oki scenarios. That was... What? Ultif. Ultif, cool. I like I like watching Ultif. I like watching Zero. I like watching uh, Dope Vendor. He's such a cool character. I wish he was a little bit better. But, um, whatever. <laughs> Game Geezer, too. But I, I know Game Geezer more for, um, for like, pulling the ref and stuff. So whenever I think of Old Sif, I, I think of, like, Dope Vendor before I think of Game Geezer. But Game Geezer plays, like, 15 characters. So, like, whatever. I <laughs> Um, how would I buff? Uh, well, how did I, uh, in, um, in Balance Rom, I think I, we buffed his overhead to be, like, more neutral. Because it's, like, minus on hit and shit. It's, like, horrible. Oh, my God. He got blasted. Uh, so like we made him like wake up a little bit faster. We buffed like his his pretty much his six C we buffed. But uh, other than that, it's not too much. Even though on the list it's like a thousand changes, a lot of it is related to like dash six C or dash five C or six C, that kind of stuff. I don't think he needs too much of, like, a, a buff to make him a little bit better. But we'll see whenever we finish it. Wow, just brick. Boingo on the screen, kinda. Uh, 
Oof. Goes for unblockable, but doesn't get all of it. That's it. Oh! That was a mistake. He went for, like, this Hail Mary unblockable scenario, and is going get, to get punished for it. Oh! Destroyed. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Shampoo doing some really good stuff with Ulsa. Nice. He's going to get Oki out of this. As usual. Does so much damage. Nice. Again, good reading that, that he could have push blocked it and going into custom combo instead of like forcing grab. Really, all he has to do is down back with stand on. He doesn't have to do much here at all to, to steal this win. I don't even want to say steal. He's been like killing it. Ooh. Cause really all all he's gotta avoid is getting knocked down. That's it. He doesn't have any he doesn't have to do anything else other than There you go. Shampoo takes it. If he just if you just like don't get knocked down in that scenario, like there's no way you're gonna lose against Whole Horse. It's like almost impossible. In that in that in that scenario. Um, we'll watch, we'll skip Ducks to Fur because we just watched these two people. We'll watch uh, Extreme Sports, Project Potato, and Prof Deca. We'll watch your three games. So it's Extreme Sports versus Poppy, Project Potato versus Gold Pilot, and Prof Deca versus ACR2. And then Ducks to Fur and Shampoo, you guys can just play your game since we just watched Give me a second before you guys start. Okay, I am ready. This is uh, the beginning of round three. Um, in losers, losers, I think you stop at uh, round four. Losers round four stops. Both round fours are top eight. So winners round four, losers round four. Okay, this is going to be... New CAC versus Dio? Unless Extreme Sports picks a different character initially. Okay, I like it. I like the pull pick. I would have waited, but... But here we go. Um, this matchup... Pull can do it. Uh, but it's really understanding like what Kakuin can actually new Kakuin can do in the matchup and committing and understanding when you can actually get in I feel like Gary did a good job uh, the last time he played in, in uh, a couple weeks ago but ended up losing anyway so I don't like the deal matchup again as you saw in in the first week uh, even Alf had trouble getting in on extreme sports so it's um, really, you just have to get inside. Pole can do it, Ice can do it, Rubber can do it, um, oddly enough, but that's just like, that's just like a weird Rubber thing, um, where, like, if Rubber can catch, like, both Kakuoins pushing a button, and, like, hit him with, like, 6S, and he's in. That kind of stuff. Um... So like anyone like like anybody that can easily cut nets, I'm, I'm gonna assume like Chaka can do it. But um, but yeah, like oh, there's a little little burr, a little burring going on here, a little lag it seems. 
What's happening? I I just don't like You got to like remember like it's annoying like he's going to he plays like he can play similarly to to better Kakioin, but the the damage that he's going to get off of like air stuff is less and like the stuff that he's going to do is worse but worse in air quotes like we're talking like um, uh... you know it's not that much worse really the only the only bad thing about this matchup i think with polnareff specifically is that if you like throw shooting star up like an idiot he kind of can just go up there for free and put a net up. But if he if he just if he attacks nets with S four B, couldn't he, he can just two C it and put up another net? So, all right, can like I feel like he can just hit that. So it, it's th like this like stand on thing. It's not really working. You kind of have to get in. I feel like you kind of have to get in, uh, in like stand off almost with your pokes. You want to poke him, and then like transition into stand on for for sub for certain things. Like I I just feel like. Throwing out a stand on button, it's too slow. I think. So you want to try to poke him with like 2C, 2A, 2C, and then try to. Ch oh! Very good. See if you can follow up. Oh, he doesn't follow up. Okay. And now you don't got to do anything. Don't don't even fight him. He's going to have to come to you with. with you know he's going to come in with overhead stuff. Really, you could just start jumping. You can just uh, turn stand on and just start jumping. That's it. Just. Oh, get get it back. Turn the pick <laughs> up. Bring it back. Like, like. Nice. Bad guard cancel. I think he thought he was going to go in earlier. Okay. Watch for the, the net. There's the net. Oh, drops a combo. I don't know if that was because of the pose or anything. I'm not sure. I don't I can't recognize that that easily. Yeah, he's listening to the stream. It's like wearing it's like not wearing the headphones at an live event. Oh, that's gonna get him. Oh no not. I lied. I lied. I'm bad at the game. Nice. Oh! Oh. I feel like he could have gotten a button in there. Oh no. Oh no. Never mind. I got too excited. <laughs> I, got... I got too excited there for a sec. It was a good adjustment. A good adjustment from Poppy to uh, to try to, but uh, not enough. Not enough. Next, we got Project Potato. So we got another new CAC versus Gold Pilot. So that might be new CAC versus. Uh, Mithra. Uh, but new new cac is super annoying, and I and I said very early. Um, like probably over two years ago, that character might be S tier. That he's like borderline S tier. And then for some reason, I moved him down. <laughs> like I don't, I, I moved him down like a little bit. When he should be like right where Dio is, maybe a little bit higher. Whatever. 
it's not like um, it's very trifling. Are they playing? Where are they? There they are. Yeah, I think he's better than Dio. Um, I think he's better than Dio. Not by a lot, but by... It's considerable. It's. I think Dio gets higher damage easier. Off mistakes, I should say. Off mistakes. But, um... But New Cax just... Oh, Poject Potato. You're right. But uh, new cac just his neutral is just better in in almost a, every part of the game. His matchups are probably better. <laughs> the uh, up back snooze fest. Uh, like the only thing like holding I think NCAC back is he like randomly will die to like people jumping in on him and his low defense just kills him. But like. That's all, like, kind of whatever in the grand scheme. It's like... <laughs> you know, it's whatever. Yeah, it's... The thing is, it's like, it, even in, like, the Rubber Soul matchup, uh, New Cac versus Rubber Soul, as long as, as long as New Cac isn't comboing you, that matchup's, like, even. Kind of. It, it's just like the damage that he's doing is minimal, and you're ac you're actually doing a little bit more damage, hit for hit, as rubber as rubber soul. So it, it's just like if if Encac isn't comboing you, he's not doing that much damage. But if he is comboing you, he can his some of his some of his like. His longer combos or his harder combos do a ton of damage, so. Bad guard cancel. And bad guard cancel and very bad, um. What's it called? Punish on it. No, he doesn't. If you just do. If you do S2C alone, um, you're punishable. If you do 2B2C, you're unpunishable. Both. I think both Kakuens are like that. So if you if you throw out S2 if you throw out um if you throw out if you throw out uh if you throw out uh S2B alone you're punishable for 6S uh, 6S dash in. So Another thing Rubber has against Kakyoin is he can use he can beat his his slow wake up speed and he can jump in on him very easily. So I don't I think I think six S is fine versus um, New Cac because if you do throw out a, a slow button and don't cancel it, you're you lose all of your neutral. Can lose all of your neutral. It's not guaranteed. It's it's all that's all theory. I just off of experience. I'm playing new cacks, and and playing you. And rubber's guard cancels insane. So pushing too many buttons against him, like sometimes new cack likes to do, uh, is bad. Okay, one more round, and Project Potato takes the game, takes the set. But by no means, by no means is it easy. Like, I, I don't want to say, like, I don't want to talk like, oh, Rubber Soul can beat Kakyo and New Cac, like, 7-3 easy. It's like, you got to, like, read that he's going to throw out a button and 6-S him. It, it's not like, you can just start throwing out 6-S's like it's nothing. But the mobility, the mobility against Rubber Soul is a huge problem, for sure. That's Rubber Soul's problem in general. It's just his bad mobility. But.
Oof. I don't think this matchup's that bad, though. Um, I gotta learn it, because I'm really bad with Midler against Kakyo and both of them. But I don't think this one's too bad, as long as you're not throwing out, like, some of Midler's, like, extendy hitboxes. And you can capitalize on some new Kak's longer moves. But, um... Non canceled dive kick. That's bad right here. Oh, he fucked up. He fucked up right there. Ah, I tech chased him. Just kind of teched right into it. Unfortunate. Uh, next, we got Prof Decca and ACR2. Uh, the second, there's like a bunch of new cacks all of a sudden. This is like three of them. When there used to be zero, because people were complaining. People complaining that new cack sucks or something, and even after all the time of saying that no, he doesn't suck, people still never played him. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. People still were like, yeah, that character's trash. Don't even play him. <laughs> I, remember, I remember the early years. Right when Cat got banned, it was like, I don't want to play new Cat. He's so bad and different. <laughs> and here we are, like... That's a, not a bad move to learn, to be honest. I gotta fix the name, hold on. Because now you can counter, um... Now you can counter Car Super. Yeah, pretty... I, I, I almost feel like that was it. Like, people spent... People spent, um... Uh, Seba's bit's fine. It's very not... It's very informative. Um... I think it's going to take a lot of practice for Rubber Souls to uh, like to actually use a lot of it. And I don't think a lot of Rubber Souls are going to use a lot of it. Unfortunately. It, I think, personally, I think that the character himself, it, from a neutral perspective, is too limited. And that the stuff that he... that The characters that he can get stuff against, he already beats... And then the characters, like the da like the the damage is nice against like characters like Ice, but the problem isn't isn't so much that it's beating him in neutral is the problem. So I don't know. It's it, while well, the the knowledge and the information is very good, it's like I I think implementing it is harder than people think it's going to be. Another timeout though. Prof deck. <laughs> Prof deck at timing out his opponent. Very good. Um. And I don't want. I don't want it to sound like uh, like a knock on the information. It's it's really not. It's just uh, I I just I I think that the information is less useful at than it is at face value but w with practice and the right application it can be extremely useful in some of the worst matchups 
like Jotaro or Ice or Pole. I don't know. Pole's like a disaster. Very nice combo. So. Actually, absolutely crushed him. Went from timeout to just killing his opponent. Up <laughs> like... oh, back. We have <laughs> we have a jump midler, prof deck a. <laughs> Dying to jumping Midler. The Edgela Edge Tech. <laughs> well, it's. <laughs> like, you really can just meet her in the air. I don't, she doesn't really have a good button to beat uh, J JC, I don't think. I think it's just too slow. Like, her JC is just too slow. And her other buttons are. Um, her other buttons are too short. Crushed. Got him. Beaten. <laughs> beaten by up back. I don't know if he's also jumping a lot. I know Midler has some wacky hitboxes, but I'm sure you can just super him if he's jumping so much. It's just air unblockable. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Why? She can't block there. He's jumping backwards. He's jumping backwards while while super's out. Can you can just super him if he's jumping. Right? If he's jumping backwards and he's unable to block, I feel like you could have just supered him and he would have just died straight up right there, no? Prof Decca takes it. 2-0. Very nice. That means we're down in um, losers. We'll watch ACR2 and Argent Soul. And then we're in top 8. So after this, we'll watch every match. So let me start getting that ready. Playing, I believe. Okay, this matchup stinks. I gotta fix the uh, losers round three. This, I think this matchup is a bad one. For Midler. I just think she has a lot of trouble fighting uh, Polnareff in the air. She she has almost no way of dealing with Shooting Star. 
she is she gets screwed by this matchup bad. Uh, the the access to double jump, um, the access to double jump uh, negates her ability to use cars. He's fast enough to get past them. She can use um, last shot if he, if you throw out cars. He can use last shot to just hit you out of it to like for, to stop you from like approaching. It's not good. There's a, you know, it's it's a typical Polnareff matchup. It's just... Well, he's... Really, it's... He's doing okay of staying away, though. Like, if you have life lead against Polnareff, you can kind of jump. You can kind of jump away from him, because then he's, like, kind of... He doesn't get his, like, high damage combos, and he's forced to, like, air-to-air -air you. But I still think you lose, and eventually you're going to lose life lead. Which is kind of what's happening, like, right now. Oh, he got hit. Feels bad. Oh, he mashed. Oh! <laughs> oh, just get... It. Just teching into the same button five times. Oh, I got super unfortunate. I'm pretty sure. I think this might be an Alessi scenario. I don't know if it's an Alessi scenario where it, you can just crouch underneath them. Because I know. Um, oh, maybe not. I know if. Uh, <laughs> if Alessi doesn't block, he can crouch underneath Harpoon. I don't know if Polnareff's the same. If he blocks, the stand comes out. And enters that... Those pre-block... Oh my god. He really just jumped into the car super at the beginning of the round. Okay. Good tandem. Good tandem. My dad's screaming at football. Very nice. Good tandem. Yep, yeah, it definitely dropped. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it dropped. It still killed him. It's fine. <laughs> All worked out in the end. I watch some sports, not basketball. Here comes a reset. Oh, messes it up. Still winning though. I watch like baseball and football, a little bit of hockey, but not really. Argent Soul having a little bit of trouble just dealing with... No, you could have just went forward. It, it, I feel like he could have punished that, but um, it doesn't matter. He didn't get hit anyway. Nice. That's going to hit him? Yep, okay. He's going to have to do something after this to get damage. Oh, my God. Really just, like, walked up, grabbed him. Oh, unfortunate. See, you can't block there. Like... Kind of just opened himself up. Yeah, I'm not top three. I'm top four. <laughs> I 
good time. But can you even go by rankings when people don't play ranked? Like, I don't play ranked. <laughs> three B not gold. Yes. Three of <laughs> three of the top <laughs> eight are B not gold. Okay. Gets a tandem. See if he uh, messes it up. He did. Gets the, an, a nice American reset, even though he's Canadian. Oh, no, he's not. ACR is Canadian. Yeah, three B knock alts and B knock main. So four out of top eight. <laughs> R. I, don't, I, I just don't. <laughs> He's playing with both controllers. I I don't know. I, it came out like the ranking system came out and it was cool for like a minute and then I just like got too many clout chasers challenging me and I just didn't care anymore. So I <laughs> like I don't play the game for that. Like so I just shut it off. It makes me like not want to play characters. Unfortunate. So that's what I was talking about, but it doesn't really get anything off of it. it it's like when I want to play like Polnareff and Midler, and, I, and then I gotta play like Rubber and Argisol wins. There you go. I gotta play like Rubber and Ice, and it's like no, I want to play like Avdol. Come on. <laughs> like I don't want to play like. Whatever. Okay, so that's... Ow! So that's um our top eight. Let me finish it because... you can get a nice visual or you can just type exclamation point bracket in the chat you can do either and it will allow you to see the bracket We got Extreme Sports and Project Potato. We'll have an NCAC kill off. Prof Decca and Ducks Defer. That'll probably be Chaka Ice, I'm going to think, unless he goes Devo. And Replicant, Poppy, Toofty, and Arjun Soul. So we got a few regular, regular top tier characters here in this top eight. Instead of just NCAC and Chaka like last time. We'll start. We'll start with extreme sports since we. We'll start with the NCAC mirror. We'll go right in, <laughs> right into the. Right into that NCAC mirror. Should be coming up any sec. There you go. Okay, I don't know which one is which. Am I right? Okay, I am right. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, wonderful. I think not. Not to put any 
you know, I don't want to throw any shade. I think Extreme Sports is better at, like, the one-frame stuff. Even though he's getting bodied right here. But, um... Potato just good in, like... In, like, that neutral game in general, so... Even though they can both do the same stuff, like, I've seen Extreme Sports do the one-frame stuff more con more consistent. That meter is disgusting. You are correct. But Extreme Sports has to adjust the neutral because he is getting destroyed right here in this game one. Good, good cancel, but doesn't get anything after it. Oh, messed up, but... Whatever, it happened. Project Potato takes game one. Very quick game one. Well, everyone is a pocket ice because, like, roll 2A is so easy. Really. Once you start getting into, like, um, his air dash stuff, then you realize who actually plays the character and who pockets them. Okay, good start. Extreme Sports just has to not get blown up again in neutral. What kind of controller? What kind of controller is it? Like, is it like an Xbox controller? You could tandem on like a regular controller. You could tandem on that. No? I could find a way to tandem on that thing. Oh, I see. Do you do you put do you use like a shoulder button as like your stand button or something, or as like your C button or something? Oof. Mm. Extreme Sports out of his last game. His last round. <laughs> the, the stick your face in the Virtual Boy. Dude, the Wii Pro controller used to be sick, dude. I don't don't hate on that controller. People used to play Smash on that thing. They're absolute sickos, but they used to do it. Yo, you expect me to read that? I gotta look at a controller now, man. <laughs> I see what you're saying. Okay, good. Extreme Sports not going down. Is that the one with the numpad? The <laughs> control. You play with the actual numpad notation. Literal numpad notation. Oh, Extreme Sports making a much better adjustment because game one, he got lit up and doing much better in this game. Cool. Cool. Unnecessary, but cool because you didn't really push him into the corner, but... Okay, I don't know what that Oki was, but it didn't really work. Should kill him right here. Good Extreme Sports 6 game 2. Very nice. See, people think an NCAC's boring. This character, like, kind of cool. Until he starts running away for 45 seconds. Then he's not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Mimir. Okay. I don't know if that was a mistake, but... <laughs> Got to, gets out of it clean. Ooh, good button. To stuff him from getting a... Uh... Oof. Does it again. It kind of just gets a trade and stops him. Oh, he screwed up. 
No! Oh. Close one. Oh, he rolled right into it. Ah. I don't know why that didn't hit. I have no uh, explanation as to why that didn't hit. I don't know. I I don't know what just happened there, to be honest. You'd have to ask one of these two guys to see if that's something that happens, because I'm very confused. What is happening? <laughs> nice. Okay. Last round. I'm not sure about, like, new cacks, like, hit stun on, like, air nets. It's gotta be something stupid. Good guard cancel, but gets trades with it anyway. So if that, so if that's not an air net, if that's not an A net, it just, like, has no hit stun? Oh. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know why, like, none of those supers worked before. To be honest. Sick punish. It's gonna do a ch good chunk, though. Ooh! Fucked up. You messed up that. Oh, Extreme Sports comes back. Very good. Nice, uh, nice adjustment from game one. Next, next we have Prof Decca and uh, Ducks the Fur. You guys are next, and we'll do losers. Okay. Okay. Sarah's also weird, but whatever. This matchup, there's a little bit of debate about this matchup, but this matchup's a 7-3, at least. It's not very good, especially if you're implementing uh, unblockable Oki as well. This matchup stinks for Chaka. If you do manage to get a life lead, you can kind of, you can make it manageable, but... But uh, getting there is a little tough. I'll tell you that right now. Cyrix okay. Was a CAC player. Transitioned off CAC like uh, with moderate success. Whatever. This. Prof Deck has really got to put in work to get ahead, and then he's got to put in work to stay ahead. This matchup is super annoying.
Yeah, just, just jump away. Get away from... Oh, no. Oh, he didn't do it. He messed up. He could have just kept doing air button, air unblockable buttons there. Oof. Just baited him. Which, which, uh, there's been a lot of stupid stuff in jail time, so I don't, I don't really remember it. Oh, jump in low. Ducks of takes round one. Game one. This is going to be a tough, uh, a tough comeback for Prof Deck. This matchup is very very not great. Which one? Oh, I remember. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to find it. I don't. I didn't. I wouldn't say. I. I don't know about bat shit. This is more just like a. It was more of like a. More of like a stop fucking up kind of thing. And then he said he wouldn't stop. And then <laughs> that one is that the one I'm thinking of? Oh, okay. One, one too many extra, too, one too many buttons almost gets him punished. He's super there. He's flying in the air. He's got to get a combo here. Oof. Two C, two B. I mean, too big. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Ducks were really good at getting the 2B the uh oh, well as I say that he drops it, but he's really good at getting the 2C ender. So he's good at getting uh, unblockable Loki. Ah. Uh, I really think, like, in this matchup, you really have to keep your eye open for when you can actually super ice. Because when he, if he's, like, floating around like that, there's a lot of times where he can't move. Like, he's kind of, like, stuck in there for a minute. And you can just, like, start supering him with, like, free air unblockable stuff. That's just my opinion. I don't know the character enough to be for sure. But I've definitely gotten hit, like, a lot of times by just being in the air doing, like, silly air nonsense. Uh oh, okay. No, no, just no, not that one. No, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Oh man. <laughs> That's not what I meant, Prof Decker. That's whatever. Match that matchup's, uh, that's a tough one. So now we'll go to, uh, we're going to top eight losers. And we'll go to Poppy. I still don't know why people use alts, but if it's an alt, then stupid, but it uh, doesn't matter to me.
We have Jotaro versus Pole. What controller is it? I used to play on a PS3 pad, and then I moved to the Hori pads, just because of the ability to, to tandem pretty much, and for Street Fighter. They're, they're better for Street Fighter. Not better for like Marvel though, I don't think. Oh, drops it. Oh, but button could just getting hit with a button. But Jotaro buttons. He's gonna punch him. I was gonna I thought he was gonna mash. How can you say that Marvel's always played on stick when Marvel like 3 came out on like consoles and a lot of people played on like Pat? Ooh, he's gonna get slapped up for the... Oh, screwed that up. Gets comboed for it. Let's see if uh, Poppy can kind of punish him, get him into the corner and punish him for it. Nope. Really, I would just be throwing Marvel. Marvel Two is whatever. Draw. <laughs> They're both good games. People talking about real games. Both Marvel Two and Marvel Three are both amazing games. So I don't know. That talks nonsense. No shooting star out. What are you doing? You're standing there doing nothing. Oh my god. Oh, I gotta fix the, uh, there we go. Infinite's a different story. Infinite's kind of bad. Infinite is just not fun, comparatively. I don't, I don't complain about spending money on video games like that. I actually, like, make money, so I don't need to worry about that. He did. Unless he's just more comfortable with the this matchup for whatever reason. Did not a good. This is uh, definitely a terrible matchup. Mainly because someone has a one frame jab and the other one don't. I can't believe you spent sixty dollars on a game. <laughs> What kind of stupid argument is that? It's not coping. I think you're coping that your game stinks. It's like the people that complained about buying DNF for like 60 bucks. Dude, if you played it for like... <laughs> like 30 hours like it's fine like I don't know people are like Like if you were gonna complain about like spending money on a video game, maybe you shouldn't have bought it in the first place, right? Dude, DNF <laughs> DNF got bodied it may as well be called that, <laughs> Ducks for it's, That game got absolutely destroyed by its own devs. Insane. How pathetic, like... Incredible. The game could have been pretty good, and it just... They just said, nah, never mind, I don't... We don't want it to be good. Ah. Ah, it's a... 
not a good uh, character matchup right there. So now we got Toofty TV and Arjun Soul. What are you guys even talking about? I should mute you. You guys are stupid. Toofty just disappearing. Man just disappeared. He said, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done playing. <laughs> I'll give him like... Oh, there he is. Not be declared the winner. He's got us running into Polnareff buttons. He's got to stop. <laughs> I was burp. I had to burp. So I was trying not to burp into microphone. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh god! What is happening? You gonna get hit twice by it? Don't get hit twice. Ah, uh, stop jumping. God, it's not. It just doesn't work. Ice can just hit you. And if you're gonna jump, make sure you, like, double jump. I could declare an, an NCAC the winner if they win. Okay, bad combo. Messes up. Uh, okay. 
There's no reason they not have shooting star out, because like even though Ice can jump back and ball it, you can read that. And you can punish it. Oh, oof. I'm gonna get like 50 hits and kill him. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Unnecessary for the win, but that was cool. All he really had to do was just finish his combo. It would have killed him probably, but he went for something super cool. Won anyway. You gotta start challenging. Like I feel like RJ just isn't pushing buttons. Like if he's like, your two A is fast as long as you're not pushing buttons at like bad times into like frame traps. Like, you can fight this character up close. Like, that's where you want to be. You want to get him to roll, beat him with your 2A? Like, you can win this. Like, as long as you're not, like, getting hit by that. Oh, my God, bro. Like, you just got hit. Nah, once you fa once you didn't throw out like shooting star after that, you should have not committed. Again. Shooting star very good in this matchup, even but you have to be careful. You don't this is like the more you shooting star, the more he can ball you and like But if he's not if he's not threatening ball, you just keep doing it. And once he starts threatening ball, you stop. Good tandem. It's... Oh, okay, okay. You got life lead now. That's pretty good. You want to turn that standoff though for a second, because your hitbox is gi gigantic. Jump out. Don't just jump in place. Jump away. Why are you jumping in place doing nothing? Jump away from ice. Get away from the character as much as possible. That was it, dude. All you had to do was do another jab. Two way into shooting star right there would have probably given you an advantage. Okay, nice. Get away. Jump. Get jump out if you can. Like right there, you just jump out as he's rolling. Either grab him or jump out. It, preferably grab him because he's at no. He has no health. Dived him out. <laughs> you want to get away out of the corner, like, oh no. Uh oh, let's see if he gets hit by it again. Oh no, what? <laughs> He's choking. He's choking. The pressure, it's too much. Oh. Oh. No. Yes. This is it. <laughs> Get the reset. Get the reset. Oh. No. Get shooting star out. Get it out. You need it. 
<laughs> get it out! Oh my god, I'm, maybe I'm wrong. I was wrong. He didn't need it. <laughs> oh my god. He fell tr he fell into the roll the roll to a trap <laughs> and just died. <laughs> okay, just watch just, You know that he's going to go for that funky uh, one frame two way nonsense in the corner or whatever the hell it is. You just be ready for it. There's no reason to roll there. You you, you got your turn back. There's no reason to roll there and give it up. Nice. Oh my god. Bad. That was bad. No, that was also bad. You didn't even hit him. You throw you throw it out there and you just like go away. Um any finals? Any of the three finals? Yeah. Not including quarters and semis. Okay, good. Good tandem. Just get the damage. Just get the Don't even bring him into the corner. Just get the damage. Nice. Oh. Just jump away. Just jump away. He's going crazy. He's rolling. Just get out of there. Grab him. Oh, no. He didn't grab him. If he gets a follow-up, he's dead. Oh, no. He rolled. He... Oh, oh. Oh, my God. The American reset. Screwed up completely. No, there's no reason to roll there. He w he completely whiffed a move. <laughs> All you had to do was block it. We're learning though. We're all learning from the experience. Oh, he's not learning though. He just. He kind of just. Got buttons pushed on him and he died. Oh my god. No, don't do it. Oh, okay. Could he stop? Oh, use two. You, you gotta use two C more. That move good. He's dead. Oh, he's dead before the round ended. Oh, that's it. Toofty wins. I gotta fix the uh, the bracket real quick because we got this is prof deck up here and this is potato I believe that's correct yeah okay so this is what the bracket should look like so we'll have Prof Deca versus Replicant, and uh, then Project Potato versus Toofty.
Chaka versus Jotaro. Uh, not a bad matchup, I don't think, so. Promptaker should be able to navigate Jotaro pretty easily. Especially if he starts throwing out uh, aura, aura garbage and you can just get supered by it, I believe. Getting in, uh, hit him with that stinky foot. Very good. Get some damage. I don't know what he's gonna go for here. Just a little stinky foot. Gets mashed out though. Cannot believe he held that that star breaker. Wow. I don't, I don't know why he held that, but he did. Good block. Stinky foot. Nice. Oh, okay. Mashes out. Not Maybe not mashes out, but pushes a button. This guy getting hit by those little toes. Non-stop. Okay. Nice guard cancel. Uh... Is that combo? Is that like supposed to combo if done correctly? Nice. Prop deck, it takes uh, game one. Oh, Avdon. It's gonna be a. <laughs> a much different scenario. Where Avdol buttons are just so lame. And you gotta always be careful of, like, wake up Napalm. Or just Napalm in general. That That's super, like, really good. Even if you're encountering somebody that doesn't Ankh, like, this character is super annoying. Prof immediate, immediately having a problem like dealing with it. But he plays Edge. He played Edge a bunch, so he should be okay. He's got just. He's got no. He's got no meter. So I don't know what he's gonna do after this. He's gotta watch out for Napalm. Ah. Oh, good try. Uh, you gotta stop pushing buttons against Avdol, though. Nah, bad, bad choice of buttons there. Good. Okay. Oh. Oh. Again, he's jumping a lot. But you gotta just want, like... If he commits to a button, you can't you just like super him? Oh my god, jumped right into it. Ah. JC. One one. <laughs> Prof Deco losing to Avdol. Stinky Avdol. Yeah, that was cool. Um, I had to mute for a second. 
Again, like, you don't really have to do anything. Nice. Very good. Like, really, Avdol... Avdol doesn't have, like, insane damage, so if you just avoid... Uh, again, he fell for the same thing twice. Avdol doesn't have, like, crazy damage, so if you just, like, avoid getting hit and just jump away and block well, like, you're just gonna win that game. Oh, he pushed one extra button and got napalmed. Feels bad. Chaka is cool. I don't know that much about the character, but a lot of people like him. Kane liked him. I think SQ likes him, too. I could be wrong about that, and I don't want to say too much about Japanese players. But I don't know. Yeah, right? He does play a lot of Chaka. Ah, he screwed up. Uh oh. Oh. Oh no. He just stopped blocking. He's got meter though, so you gotta watch out for that. Again, this is. Oh no. Don't get. Don't. Don't fall for it. Oh. <laughs> Good, he didn't. That ju that like uh, JC was pretty obvious, right there. Okay, so let me fix. Let me fix that. Prof Deca moves forward in losers. Next, we have uh, Project Potato. And uh, Toofty. After that, we'll go to winners and we'll do, um, we'll do uh, extreme sports and Duxtafer. Okay, we have NCAC versus Ice. Again, this matchup is um, it's fine. It's it's fine for NCAC. It's it's definitely I think still an ice favor because really I just think ice but ice buttons can challenge some of NCAC buttons and the mobility that ice has is workable to deal with nets and to deal with uh, like two C and other just regular buttons. He also just has no anti air so. But it's, an, it's definitely a matchup you have to know. You can't just brute force your way into an NCAC matchup and try to win. So if, you don't, if you don't really know how to approach, you're going to get lit up. Oh, he had it. He had it right there, but didn't confirm anything. Just rolling into buttons. rolling into buttons and like just I don't know if he's pushing a button or just not blocking but he's getting slapped up out of every roll screwed up a combo there if you're messing up just go into tandem and just mash that shit out uh oh would you start messing up your two and four C's just forget about it oh <laughs> fun punish it is something that can happen with like uh, with ice is you start doing your two and fours too fast, and you and they end up like canceling out of your six C's, and or you like so whatever. At some point, you just stop doing them and just do just combo into tandem off of one one six C and get your damage and get a, get out. 
quick round. Very quick round from Project Potato. Let's see if there's any adjustment. Oh, just rolled right into it. Forgot it was there. Okay. Good 2C. You got to get in there, though. Good blocking. Very good blocking. Nice. Okay. Okay. This is what I kind of mean. Like, not like that. But if you're just, like, taking, like, straight hits off NCAC, he doesn't do a lot of damage. But... If you just keep making mistakes, you just kind of die. <laughs> NCAC ban? No way. I could beat this character with like rubber soul. Uh, come on, guys. <laughs> NCAC ban. No way. Don't even start even talking about it. I would do it. Uh, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Because <laughs> I'm. Uh... The last time we, I, the last time I played extreme sports was a long time ago, though. Um. Well, quick two out. -oh. I played extreme sports a long time ago. Definitely nothing anytime recent. Okay, well, that was fast. That means we'll go up to winners. Let me just write this in. Okay. So our top four is Extreme Sports, Duxtafer, Prof Deca, and Project Potato. So we'll go to... We'll go to... Um, let me just fix this real quick. Why is this song so loud? DNF music is so loud. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. So we got Extreme Sports versus Duxtafer. This is a 3 out of 5, by the way. Just remember that. I'll... So this is a 3 out of 5. So that you're aware. Open the game. Challenge 1. Okay, cool. We got um the names wrong. That's cool. Um, there we go. We got Devo. Uh, this matchup kind of whack. I Devo has a little bit of trouble, but like a lot of his matchups, he I feel like he can navigate them. And when he does get damage, it's a lot of it. But it's gonna be a lot of. Uh, Running, uh, it could be a lot of doll running in the nets and a lot of silly nonsense because of just how Devo works. No, no, uh, give me a minute, I'll be right back. returned.
really, I don't know, I, I just feel like it's tough. You just, like, drop a net in front of you. You kind of, like, wait for doll activation. It's fast, but if you can, I think you can react to it. And you just, like, let him run in the nets and shit. Right? Like. Oh, good. I feel like though a lot of Devo, uh, a lot of Devo players they run into matchups where like a lot of people don't know this matchup and they get absolutely destroyed. Good grab. No, I'm still exhausted, but that's because I'm that's because of uh, unrelated. These have been some of these matches have been sick though. I'm not gonna lie, they've been good matches. Really, the fact that that uh, cat can just keep that keep a net up. That's we're not gonna work because of the super, but but um, he can just keep a net up there is just like so annoying for for Devo to deal with. While well, also keeping access to grab, so he can't really roll behind you. So he can cover doll and cover, like, your roll or any button. Nice air unblockable. Extreme Sports takes uh, game one. Oh, no. We have to listen to the Devo music now. Ooh, what happened? He was really just standing there and then just got hit. I don't know if if um, NCAC Super does enough to break the doll. Because I think Rubber Souls does enough to break it in one Super. Wow, that was rough. We're probably, we might see a... a if, he go, if he drops 2-0, we might see like an Ice Pick here. Yeah, but he can he can still block, right? He still blocks. He really just he had to have pushed a button or just didn't block at all. Or activated a move. Like I said, I know I guess. Yeah. No. Because rubber, rubber Soul, unless it's different, Rubber Souls hits Doll and breaks Doll. Like, Stan crashes Doll. It doesn't, like, shut off the move. Is it different? Mm. <laughs> Whatever. Very quick 2-0. So let's see if, uh... Let's see if Duxtafer switches to Ice. Or if he continues. Nope. Okay. Just gonna rep Devo for the entire thing. Interesting. That's so annoying. That's what I'm talking. That's kind of what I was talking about. Like, Extreme Sports just trying to put like some like net oppression with the with those JBs. Okay, good job stuffing it though. But you got a long way to go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ow. That shit does a lot of damage. Ooh. This is gonna do a lot. Especially because he has like zero defense. He's oh, this is gonna be bad. He breaks up too slow. Very nice round. Very good catch and a lot of damage. That's why I like Cloud Skipper was so good at the time too, because he was able to navigate a lot of these bad matchups and just get hits. And when he got a hit, it was for a lot of damage. And that's why I still think Devo's like he's just good. Like, 
I, we did one too many extra buttons there. Got caught by that super activation. Oh. That's another. You always have to watch out for that, like, mid Devo getting bodied super activation. Ooh. This could be bad. This might be the. This might be around. Yep, there it is. Ducks for takes game three. It's because we had to listen to the Devo music. That's why he lost. Good grab. Okay. Oh no. Oh, we didn't do anything. Oh god. It's gonna be a lot of damage. It might kill him. Okay, good round. Pushed a button, got hit. Oh man, that stinks. Oh, he screwed up. He gives Extreme Sports a, <laughs> another chance. Good block, good guard cancel, but oh, good grab. Okay, good job. Keep him in the corner. Nice. Okay. I'm not sure, like, what new cack, like, what new. Oh my god, what the hell? That grabbed us like a million damage. <laughs> he could have grabbed, I think he could have grabbed him there. Nice. Okay, good round. I don't know what, like, new cack gets in the air. Like, I kind of know what cack you can kind of get, but new cack, I don't understand, like, his, like, air route, so I wasn't sure. I didn't want to, like, <laughs> comment on anything that I didn't know. Good grab. Throw him in the corner. Just kind of sit behind that net and just don't get hit by like 5C in the super. Okay. Good job getting out of there, but 5C kind of stuffed everything that he was trying to do. Good pressure. Good net. Battle of the worst themes in the game. Oh, that sucks, dude. What? <laughs> God damn. <laughs> hit him with the hit him with the nonsense. Yeah. He had that. He had that foot. Tossed it away, unfortunately. It happens. Good grab. Just don't don't even let Dahl start getting on the other side of you. Nice net. Very good. Decent damage for what it is. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that could have been like his entire health bar. Good jump, but it caught him. I think Extreme Sports got away with a gift there. And there, too. Oh, good low. Very good jump. Nice. Okay. Get the pressure. You need more pressure. Uh oh. That was terrible. That could have been horrible. He, <laughs> if, he had, if he had meter, that was it. But he had none, he had zero. Oh my god. I had to move, I have a window over how much meter he had, and I wasn't sure. 
So I got scared when he hit that 5C. Okay. Really... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, gets hit with that. Hmm. Got caught with that overhead. Okay, good grab. Get this, like, no damage. But... This is where you kind of see that, like, Nukak has, like, lacking anti airs. You can't really, like,. You gotta, like, Dio just is like jumping around a little bit and you can't really do too much. Okay. okay he's rolling, grabbing. Okay. You kind of see it right there, too. You even know. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Is, I don't know. Is this gonna kill? Yes, it is. Very good round. Incredible. Extreme Sports wins. Beats Ducks to Fur. Ducks to Fur goes to the losers. That was a great game. So now we have uh, losers finals. We have Duxtifer. Now we have Prof Deca versus Project Potato. I don't. What? Do I really have ads on? I. What? I thought I turned that shit off the other day. Unless it's just Twitch being stupid. I thought I turned fucking that shit off. We got, you know, we got a uh, new cack again. Now you get all my wonderful emotes. My five of them. <laughs> okay. Nice. Very nice. Let's get this jump in overhead. Got him. And this is the time you don't, you don't got to do anything. You don't got to do too much here. Just don't get blown up. Nice. Oh, never mind. I thought that was going to hit. I lied. Incredible. I don't know if that move's good to learn, but... But he learned it. Nice. Very solid round from Prof. Let's see if that learned move uh, comes in and matters at all. Okay. Prof dealing with nets pretty well. Okay, damage. Things are happening on the screen. 
kind of just evened up that entire game with that one sequence. I can't. I can't actually tell who's winning. Oh, oh never mind. No, I can. It's gonna be annoying for Prof to try to get in here. This round is probably gonna just stay potatoes. There you go. Okay, good overhead. Oh my god, he just... Oh, he's just pushing buttons! He's got so much meter, it doesn't even matter. But he just got hit with a low. So basic pushing buttons get hit with low. Oh, that's not good. This might be it. Yep. Round one goes to Prof Decker. Oh, it's not winner's finals. Silly. It's losers. Okay, nice guard cancel. Wow. Okay, nice reset. Didn't get anything really, but it was nice. Stinky foot didn't work. Oh, okay, okay. Didn't get punished too bad. Watch for net. I was going to say, I thought he was going to cancel in the net. Oh, whatever. Not too much loss. Lost meter, though. Watch out for that net. It's right by those trees. Oh, God. on the door. I have to answer it. The prof getting slapped around a little bit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's going to need to do a, like one extra interaction here. Just to get that li that little eighth of damage. As my mom. Very nice. Hit him with the little toes. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, what is he gonna go for? Just a regular basic JC overhead. Does not work. Oh my god, he just gets grabbed. You don't gotta do you don't gotta do that much. You don't gotta go Just block, block good. Block for 40 more seconds. Oh, he had it. He had the little. <laughs> no, no. Now you got to do something. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's 
channel your energy into Prof Deca. So. <laughs> Okay, good. Good start. Good start. Getting the, like, NCAC to, like, half-life is really nice. Cause then you can kind of, like... You don't have to jump at the nets for half the game. Okay, good air there. Oh, very nice. Good jump back on that, uh, that dash, that dash B. Oh, don't get stuck. Don't... Don't start. No. Oh. That did so much damage. <laughs> that was incredible. Potato takes the round one. It's match point right here. Guard cancel? No, nope, no guard cancel. Just kind of lets it happen. Ah, oh, Prof. That guy. you gotta. Oh, oh, got it. I forgot about the net. Even I forgot about the net. Not a lot of damage, but gets him the hell out of there. Oof. This gets tough. It's not gonna be, uh. This might be it. Might be it for Prof Deca. There it is. Oof. Losing lead in that one game was very. Is That's tough. Losing that lead. That means that means Duxtafer and Project Potato. That was two one. Okay, this is a. Uh, everything else is three out of five. So, Ducks of Fervor's Project Potato. You guys can start. Your game's three out of five. First to three. He's going Devo again. Made a good adjustment versus Extreme Sports, so let's see if he just continues. It might actually, it might actually be in his favor. Oh, the game screen. It might be in his favor uh, if he happens to win. He's just going uh, new CAC versus new CAC, pretty much in a row. It's a different new cac. It's a completely different player. So, okay, good jump out. Don't get baited by this stupid doll. Ooh. Okay. Oh, good blocking. But taking like a massive amount of damage because Devo has literally no health. Dude does like 500% damage. Nice try, but I feel like you're kind of waiting for that. Just 
waiting for him to activate Dahl for that super, but... Okay. Okay! Oh, that was a misinput. Good, good super. He's gonna get damage, some damage here. He's gonna get, not no Oki, but he's gonna get life lead from it. Oh, he messed up right there. That was it. Now he's gotta deal with this off of that one, that one mistake. Good guard cancel, but it ends up hitting him anyway, cause Devo nonsense. Good grab. No, oh, that's gonna hit him. Oh, oh, oh okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't think he was gonna get hit by that JC, but he did. It's gonna hit him. He's gonna take a lot of damage here. Get tandem. Yep. Oh my god, he just mashed out of it. Incredible. He didn't even care. Dude did not even care. Oof, goes down though. <laughs> did not care about whatever Duxtifer was going to do after that. <laughs> but, takes round one. Game one. Losing immediately, pretty much losing half of his life, which is not very beneficial. But though, the damage that can be done here, if he... Well, I was going to say, I'm about to get excited, but kind of messed up right there. If he if he landed that, that would have absolutely killed New Kakioi. What do you mean? This is the... Uh, this is the loser's finals, Palmot. The super bar is definitely... <laughs> needs a little bit of work. It's a lot of damage. Okay. Gets out of it. Oh, that's gonna be a decent amount of damage, too. Oh. Okay. Gets nothing for Oki. Kind of lets him out, though. I'm not sure if I like uh, the maneuver. Okay, good. One more. Guess he thought he was going to go high on that last one. But... Just gets caught with three of them. Immediately getting hit. Oh, okay. Good thing he didn't land. Oh, my God. Unfortunate. Decent chunk of damage. Nothing crazy, though. Ooh, very nice. Nice little combo. Devo's so scary, though, with, like, low health. Like, you don't really want to commit to anything because of Dahl, because it's, so, it's right there. And it does so much damage if it does, if, it, if it, you somehow get clipped. It's incredible. But Potato not really committing a heavy amount. It just gets the round anyway. Oof. Okay, let's see if he gets... Nice. Ah, uh, well, not as nice as I thought it was going to be, but gets out of there. 
pushes himself back in the doll range, unfortunately. And they're kind of just getting hit by JC like three times. Doesn't really help your... Uh... Oh! <laughs> what was that super? No! What's happening? Buttons. That's the only thing I... Oh. Buttons are being pushed. Things are happening. Good guard cancel, because... I was worried he was going to get uh, mixed up right there. I would have probably done the same thing. Oh, unfortunate. That's going to kill him. That's game two. Uh, game three. Game two for Ducks to Fur. Potato need to like stop getting hit by like stray doll hits, and that's really like one of the problems with the character uh, fighting versus Devo. Like you get hit by like these random hits or like five C super, and all of a sudden you your entire lead that you just had it's gone. So. He messed up. This gets caught with a grab. Okay. I tried the super. I don't know. I don't know what he was supering there for. Oh, gets hit. Unfortunate. Unless that super was just to try to get that 5C. Bait, that, bait into that 5C. The fact that NCAC has like no health is just so bad for like when Devo's at low health. It just absolutely slaughters his life bar if he gets hit. Oh. This could be it. I think this might be it. Yep. Ooh. Very nice from Duxtafer. Very nice. So now, so now, give me a minute. Give me one minute. Let me uh, let me get the bracket open again. So we'll have extreme sports and winners, ducks the fur and losers. This is grand finals, or grand anals, if you've been around for long enough. Um, they started. Let me uh, get everything ready. Here we go. So, ducks the fur's got to win six games. We'll see how uh, see how it works out for him. It was close, close the first time. So let's see if um, having to fight like new CAC three times in a row kind of prepared him for the 6-0 sweep. But like I said, it's a different new CAC. Good. 
Okay. Good job getting that JC and to make sure he gets hit. Oof, that's rough. Rough for Nukak. Gonna be a lot of damage. Stand crash. Okay, drops it. But still has a considerable lead. Doesn't get anything off of that because he was in the air. Okay. Good. Good adjustment to try to get that hit. That's gonna do a ton of damage. Yeah. Pretty much just almost evened up the entire game with how much that damage that thing did. Oh, got his little toes hit. Oh, <laughs> Duxford takes game one. Dude's had to play new cack the entire tournament. <laughs> He's got to be used to it by now. Oof. Again, right off the bat, stand crash into tandem is going to do like three fourths of his health bar. It could actually kill him if he didn't drop it. Like the follow up, Oki could just kill him. Oh, mess. He dropped. He screwed up there, but. Extreme Sports kind of like. Uh... Having a little bit of trouble here. He's got he's got five more games to work with, but but still he's got to adjust fast. Otherwise he's gonna just kind of get run over by Devo Devo damage. <laughs> we gotta ban Devo instead. Yeah, true. Yeah, whatever character wins, we just ban in the next tournament. Then I'm telling you, people were like, for a long time, people were, uh, uh drops the tandem. People were lowballing this character as if, like, he was bad. Not bad. He's got some bad matchups, like everyone does. Oh, he messed up. He might be able to get, oh, hit, slap him out of there. Smack him. Smack him again. Okay. Well, there's a quick 2-0. Oh. He's one more for a bracket reset. I don't know. Just people like that didn't for a while like didn't see good devos. People were lowballing him when Aleph was playing the game more, which is incredible because he was like the the best devo for a long time. So, I don't know how people could even lowball the, the character. Yeah, he's B tier. But no, he's not. Stupid. Oh, it misses that little tiny knife. If he got that knife, he probably could have gotten uh, a stand crash out of it. Oh, that was bad. That I think that was a misinput. I think. Yep. Uh, update what tier list? It's <laughs> what put Devo at the top of S tier? No. <laughs> oh yeah. Great. <laughs> you just ignore that. Okay. Extreme Sports. He's gotta. He's gotta not make a mistake here and get hit by like that, pretty much. 
Okay, well. Duxifer resets the bracket. A quick 3 0. So. Oh, we got another three games, at least. That's why I think people uh, knee-jerking to uh, Nukak being, like, hella good is, is also wrong. Because the character dies. He's an annoying character, yes, and he has a lot of nice stuff. And his, like advancements in damage over the elite years it's been like nice but like the character dies okay good job smacking that guy very nice good job uh, punishing that doll activation Oh, he messed up right there. He could have gotten a lot of damage. Oh, well, here it is. Oh, no, never mind. He screwed up again. Oh. Well, here it is. Here's the a lot of damage that should have happened. Oh, screwed up so he doesn't get any Oki after it. He gets nothing after it. He's got to deal with this doll, though. He just runs right into a 5C. Ow. Duxifer doing a really good job of, of keeping doll in the in pretty much the correct spot and when it's not in the right spot he like almost immediately moves it or tries to move it so he's doing a very good job it's something I some people don't really notice when it comes to Devo like like that part of the character is kind of hard okay evens up the round okay oh okay those one frames really cool. Doesn't can't get too much after it though, because Devo's so tiny. I think. S super super closes distance. Really, I feel like all that uh, that super's doing there. Oh, that was close. That was a really good read by Extreme Sports, but um, I think he messed up when he was going in. Nice. There it is. Okay. Extreme Sports takes the first game of uh, of set number two. Oh, unfortunate. I like trying to stay up in the air, but that shit don't work. Ooh. Gets out of it. Gets a baby amount of damage. Okay. It's kind of, it's, it sucks that if you push block him, he push gets pushed right to doll territory. That stinks. Oh, that's going to be it. That's going to be it for the round. Unfortunate. Extreme Sports trying to keep Dahl really close to Devo at the beginning of the round. Oh, good. He made a mistake, gets out of it immediately, but still has, like, a lot of ground to make up to try to... That's it. That's going to be a lot of... Da oh, never mind. He dropped it. He 
should get enough damage. Should be enough damage to kill here. That's game two. It's even now. One one. Good super. I I don't know what uh, Duxford was doing with that super, but but uh, definitely didn't work out for him. Oh god, it was so annoying. Oh, just get away from the doll. Get out of there. Good blocking. Avoid getting schmixed by stupid doll nonsense. Good grab. The void get avoid everything with doll in general. Oh, it's stand crash. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Oh, drops it. I thought he was just gonna super him right there because he he made a mistake right there. He made a mistake and threw doll out. I thought he was just gonna super. would have taken like a bajillion damage I feel like okay nice okay oh okay gets the <laughs> gets the grab oh nice good job with those one frames it's getting A little stray hit. Extreme Sports really has to watch out for, like, there you go, nice. Watch out for just like five, five C super. Good blocking, but gets hit by the wacky charge move. Does it again. Uh, that was a. Comp Oh, what is happening? It's unfortunate. Un <laughs> super, super goes in the wrong direction. I'd be tilted. I mean, that definitely like would have punished him if it went the right way. I like that super. Un oh, okay, nice. Just gets the low. Extreme Sports is up. It's on his on a uh, match point, kind of. Good blocking on Dahl, though, after getting hit by, like, a random low. Avoiding that damage in that corner is, like, really nice. Mm, raw 2C? No. It is, but... If you do it, if you do, like, 2B, 2C... Um, it's not. Two C by itself is, uh, I think, fine. So if you do like the two B two C chain, it's really laggy. If you do just two C, it's not. It's not gonna do a ton of damage because Devo has like eighty percent damage at full health. Some nonsense. Nice super, but unfortunately, it just didn't work. It's gonna cost them the whole round, too. I really thought that super was gonna work. At the, so every everyone gets like a passive like damage buff when they're at lower health, and then 
Devo gets like an extra like 100% or something. So he gets like extra damage. He gets like extra damage. When he's at low health, he gets a lot of extra damage. So pretty much because it happened, like, I would let, like, 15 of these one frames happen. Because, uh, Duxtifer did that, that nonsense in the corner. So, like, it... <laughs> I would just let I would just let extreme sport like if somebody does that shit to you like just go ham bro <laughs> And extreme sports takes it he comes back to take it Very nice So There's some great games So, um, yeah, like, if, if, like, I don't mind, I don't mind that Devo stuff in the corner, that, like, Devo loop in the corner. If somebody does that shit to you, just, like, go ham. If you have, like, another, if you have a loop, I'm not gonna, like, call you out for it, kind of thing. So, like, Like, if you did, like, six one-frames there and killed him with it, I'd be like, whatever, dude. He'd hit you with, like, five of these loops in the corner. You know? But that's just, like, a little, little skirt around the rules that I don't care too much about. But whatever. But those are some good games. We had a lot of great players, to be honest. I don't know how to write this out. <laughs> how do I write that out? Whatever. But congrats to Extreme Sports again. Ducks the fur. Uh, I played you the other day. You're very good. So. Pleasantly. Pleasant, not really surprised, but pleasantly. It's nice to see the, the strong NA players. Where Master Chief is, I don't know. Where uh, Texas, I don't know, but um, we'll see if they ever show up. So it is what it is. But it's nice seeing more character representation. I'm gonna say Sunday uh, because it got one. It got more votes on the on the poll. So. That's fine. I'm just saying, like it, it'd be cool if he like ever showed up. Like it, everyone has personal stuff. Like I don't, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna say Sunday from now on. Same time Sunday, unless something changes where I can't do Sunday and I have to do uh, Saturday. So. So for now we'll, we'll be moving with Sundays. We'll get Hawk in here soon, kind of stuff. So Oh, let me do that. But uh for now it's it's good. Good stuff from Prof Decca, good stuff from Potato. Good stuff from Extreme and great stuff from Duxtifer too even though he just lost. It's nice seeing and if you're an alt, just play with your real name. Nobody gives a fuck if you're an alt, bro. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody cares about your alt. Nobody cares. That's all I'm going to say. And if I know you're an alt, I'm just going to write your real name in the thing anyway. If I know who you are. <laughs> so. Whatever. But good stuff. Um... What is next? Uh, what is next? It's the sixth. Okay. Well, I'll try to get the VOD up as soon as possible. Um, 
and I'll post. Uh, I'll make a post about it in uh, announcements or something. I may do. Um, maybe, because of how kind of successful these are. You know, twenty people. It's a good amount of people. I like that. Um, maybe, maybe. Um, I'll do some EU stuff. Maybe. But, uh, some people cannot join in the EU stuff. There are a few people I will not allow. So, if they start alting in the in events, then they're done. So. It's just that simple. Was what? Not Pinoc. Russia wouldn't even be allowed. Russia wouldn't even be allowed in the event. They have their own events. So it'd be an EU event. Unfortunately, no Russia for them. But uh, there are a handful of people. Maybe not even a handful. Almost like a teaspoon of people. That uh, I don't want involved in any of my events, unfortunately for them. So, so if I were to do something EU, it's it has such an easy possibility to be ruined by specific people. But um, for now, we'll stick. We'll stick to this for now, and we'll see. We'll see uh, how I feel about that later. Because some stuff isn't just worth it, but we'll see. But good stuff. Um, I don't know. I'll talk to you guys later. Congrats, uh, Extreme Sports, again.